kind of a long video today, but I can't think of a way to explain this briefly, so I appreciate your patience. I was recently hired to be an expert witness at a fraud trial and to be in court for the duration as part of the trial team. I'm not going to get into details regarding the underlying case because there are some pending legal issues that need to be resolved, but something happened at the trial that I've never experienced before that I want to share with you. After six days of testimony and argument, the 12 jurors went away to deliberate to see if they can reach a unanimous decision, guilty or not guilty. What happened behind those closed doors is a mystery to us. Both the prosecution team and the defense team basically sit around the courthouse until the jury comes back. It is both boring and nerve-wracking at the same time. Now, if the jury can't make a unanimous decision, guilty or not guilty, that's called a hung jury, and it's like kissing your sister. Everyone goes home unsatisfied. The prosecution has the option to retry the case if they want, which they almost always do if it's a serious matter. But no one is ever really rooting for a hung jury, because it means you just wasted all that time and money on a trial that didn't really matter. In the trial that I just worked, the jury came back without a unanimous decision on some of the counts, and the judge unleashed a trick called the Allen Charge, and that's what I want to tell you about today. The Allen Charge came about from a Supreme Court decision back in 1892, so it's been around for a while. It's a few paragraphs that the judge reads to the jury that has this amazing impact on them to come back with a unanimous verdict. Some people call it a dynamite charge, and it works like liquid Drano to unclog the jurors' minds and motivate them to speak with one voice. The Allen charge is also very controversial. About half the states have outlawed it in criminal case because it's considered coercive, but it's still used in federal court. Here's how it worked. The judge brought the jury back into the courtroom, and he said this to them. Members of the jury, I'm going to ask that you continue your deliberations in an effort to agree upon a verdict and dispose of this case. And I have a few additional comments I would like you to consider as you do so. This is an important case. If you should fail to agree on a verdict, the case is left open and may be tried again. Any future jury may be selected in the same manner and from the same source as you were chosen, and there is no reason to believe that the case could ever be submitted to 12 men and women more conscientious, more impartial, or more competent to decide it or more or clearer evidence could ever be produced. Those of you who believe that the government has proven the defendant guilty beyond a reasonable doubt should stop and ask yourselves if the evidence is really convincing enough, given that other members of the jury are not convinced. And those of you who believe not proven the defendant guilty beyond a reasonable doubt should stop and ask yourselves if the doubt you have is a reasonable one, given that other members of the jury do not share your doubt. It is your your duty to agree upon a verdict if you can do so without surrendering your conscientious opinion. You may be as leisurely in your deliberations as the occasion may require and should take all the time you need which you may feel is necessary. I will now ask that you retire again and continue your deliberations with these additional comments in mind to be applied in conjunction with all the instructions I have previously given to you. And that was it. I was skeptical it would have much impact. The judge sent the jury back to their private room to continue deliberating, and they came back 20 minutes later with a unanimous verdict, guilty on all counts. It was like X-Lax. I've never seen anything like it. I'm curious what you think about this practice. Is the Allen charge in the interest of justice? Let me know in the comments, and then have a great day, and be cool.